Uh, okay, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, play around with some people's faces that I got today. Uh, I was on a kind of a little bit of a video shoot with um, with someone, and uh, anyway, we got three people's pictures, and we're just going to have a little play with that. Just now. Okay, so here's the first person. Uh, this was totally kind of off the cuff. There wasn't any kind of makeup or anything done, uh, and that is my friend Katya. And we're going to have up another uh, picture of one of uh, her director uh, that she's working in a movie uh, in a play with, uh, and this is a girl called Tasha. Uh, now Tasha has also got specs on uh, and is a completely different shaped face. But uh, let's see, we've got them pretty close together. Certainly, if you look closely at the uh, ring light in the eyes, it's pretty close uh, to both kind of pupil areas. So, uh, for a bit of fun, let's see if we can mash their faces together. Uh, what I'll do is on Tasha, I will add, go straight, simply go to add layer mask. And then when you get that, you'll have an option. And the options will be, whoop, that's a bit close. Uh, full black layer transfer, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. Go to white and just use that. Click add. So what you think is nothing's actually happened to the picture. Uh, but what's happened is pretty much something's gone on top of the picture, and that is your layer mask. And effectively, if you draw on this layer, which is white, if you draw on it with black, then the picture that's underneath it will disappear. In other words, uh, Tasha's face will disappear. Dish, dish up here. Uh, let's just choose a brush which will be nice and soft and nice and big. So here, uh, what we can do is we can start bringing in. If we do that, bring in, bring in the picture underneath. And obviously, there's a bit of a problem here because the faces aren't aligned. So let's just reset that by pressing Control Z for zero. And uh, let's just go. Let's delete the layer mask. And what to do is just bring the opacity down, halfway down. And what we want is to use the Move tool, which is this one up here. Click on that. And then move a bit of the face so it's in the same position. Usually a good spot here will be using ring lights in the eyes and bringing that over so it's touching each other. Let's do that. And make sure you're actually doing the right picture. Okay, so that's looking a bit closer, but there's obviously a different... Uh, either their faces were a little bit closer, a little bit further away, or one of them just got a bigger head than the other. So I think what I'll do is I'll use this scale tool. Now the scale tool is this one up here. Double click on that. Okay, so that's them scaled up so they're a little bit closer to the correct positions for each of them. Uh, so we'll go back to the uh, layer mask again and let's just add that. Add layer mask, done. What we could do, we could also use the gradient tool, which is this one up here and just put a, a kind of line down the way, or a line up the way. So at the top, it is Katia's face with uh, Tasha's mouth, or we can do it the other way, where it's Katia's mouth with Tasha's, ooh, <laughs> brilliant, uh, with uh, Tasha's eyes, brilliant. Okay, I think we'll definitely use that one. Cool, so that's it roughly there, and what we'll do is we'll just use the paintbrush afterwards to kind of uh, make it a little bit smoother. Certainly, see here in the nose, uh, we can either make more of Katia's nose, or we can make it more of Tasha's nose. I think we'll keep it that way. What I will do is I will just go back a little bit closer in, because I've uh, accidentally painted over one of the bits of the glasses, and we can just change the colour, so just by doing that, and we can paint it back in. Obviously we'll want to decrease the size of the brush, and that's just by doing that. Now to also blend it just a little bit more, what we can do is on the brush, we can change the opacity of it. So if we go over here, we've got, uh, you can see you can bring it down to 70, 100, you know, anything. And what to do is bring it down to around about the 70% and do exactly what you were doing before and just kind of brush on the face. And what that will do, that will help kind of blend the skin tones together. So here, okay, so that's uh, that's that shot done. Uh, what we'll do is quickly just go and go to image and go to auto crop image, and that's not very good. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do a quick crop using the crop tool, which is this button over here, and let's just cut that there, and then we can make it a little bit bigger. There, done. Okay, so that's uh, one of the kind of messed up shots 
which uh, which is kind of two people's faces merged together. Brilliant. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, right. Okay. And here's one other thing that you can do to. Uh, give it a certain type of look you can do. Once you've merged all the pictures together, make a duplicate copy. Now on that duplicate copy, if you want to increase contrast, what you can do is go to the layer modes. Let's look at these. These are your layer modes. You have normal, which you don't really see anything. Dissolve, which is kind of rubbish. Uh, multiply, you don't really want to do that. That will just really kind of darken it far too much. Uh, overlay, it, these things aren't going to work unless you've got different pictures on top of each other. The one good one is a little bit kind of more contrast, but when you add on contrast on this kind of software, what happens is you also get kind of a saturation increase, which can not be what you want to, to have. So with this one, what to do is, in your soft light, then just on one of your layers, go to tools, sorry, uh, go to colours, and go to desaturate. And you've got lightness, luminous, or average. But it's just this ability to have a little bit of your saturation taken away. It kind of gives it a more of a, a kind of a grungy Hollywood, you know, 24 kind of look to it. Um, there's very little difference between luminance, lightness and average really. Uh, they're all roughly the same. I'm going to go with lightness. So yeah, so that's how you get that kind of cool photo. So hope that helps. Cheers. Bye bye.